Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick haul for you. Um, some of these things are, um, some, I went to Walmart to pick up some stuff for the house and I saw they had some Elf Mark down really cheap, so I couldn't pass it up. You know me and my Elf, I love my Elf. And the other two thing, a few things I needed and the other two things were things that I'd been saving my pennies for because I knew they were coming out and I wanted them so bad. So I was like putting back my pennies for these because I had... As soon as I saw them, I was like, I've got to have these. And one of them was a bitch to find. Oh my god, it took me forever to find it. And it was hard not spending that money on, you know, on something else. But I wanted this because I wanted to review it for my channel. Um, and I wanted to show you the few things. Uh, I got some interesting things in my birch box this month, and I wanted to share that with you too. Um, let's go ahead and get started with what I found at Walmart. The first thing I picked up, you know, I needed some cotton rounds. These are the Swispers. These are the ones that are stitched around the edges. I love these. These are great. If I'm sniffling, I'm sorry. And if I look horrible, my hair, I know it needs to be dyed. I just washed it last night, so it's like frizzing out to no end. I live in Louisiana. We have horrible humidity here. <laughs> Plus, it's cold, so the static electricity, too. And I also picked up one of the hard candy um, Fast and Fabulous setting sprays. I really love this one. I want to try the other one, the hydrating one, too. But I've tried this one before, and I know that I really like it. And I am almost done with my e.l.f. lip exfoliator. I've got to have one of these because I have super dry lips, so I've got to have one of these. And finally, they got them in because I've been looking and looking and they've been out the whole time. And they had the uh, shimmering facial whips for 50 cents a piece. I got this one in pink lemonade. And I thought this would make a cute blush and it also would make a real pretty lip color, too, in my opinion. It's really, really pretty. But 50 cents a piece, you couldn't pass it up. I mean, look at that. It's going to make a gorgeous blush, but it'll make it even prettier. Uh, let me throw that away now that I don't need it. An even prettier lip color, I think. And the other one is um, in Lilac, Lilac Pearl. And this will be good. You know, I love to mix stuff like this in with my foundations, too, to give it a little bit of glow. Oh, my gosh, that's pretty. Because Janae had bought me one of these. I forget the color, but oh my god, it's so, so pretty. And they last. They're so easy. Oh my god, y'all. Check that glow. Do y'all see that glow? Oh, these are amazing. <laughs> amazing. I cannot wait to play with those. And I picked up a couple of lipsticks. The first one I picked up is in, um, what does that say? Posh. 50 cents for these two. Like I said, I couldn't pass them up. And I love this formula. It has kind of a fruity scent to it. I had one before in a real pretty coral color, but I broke it, so I had to get rid of it because I left it in my truck. It's a more like a brick red, and these are, have a little bit of sheen to them, and they're very moisturizing. That's what I like about these. And they're just so pretty. I think they are so pretty. And the other one I got is in Classy, and that's what I have on my lips, and I think I found my new favorite pink lipstick. I am in love with this color. When I put it on a lot of I'm just like, this is my favorite. I mean, it is so pretty. It goes well with that facial lip, too. I just thought it was so pretty. That's it right there. Isn't that pretty? I know, it's like all the hun other hundred. Well, I don't have a hundred anymore because I decluttered them. All the other colors I have like this. But I just think this one is so pretty, especially with the lip liner I have on. It is so, so pretty. I mean, it is just, it is pretty. It's perfect for any look. So the look I have on today, it's great for that. I'm, I'm just in love with it. So let me get these out of my way real quick. Now, the other two things I got that I've been wanting, and I do have them on today, I got the Maybelline New York Master Blush Contour, uh, Color and Highlight Kit. Looks like this. And I think it has a name to it. Guys, I wore this the first day I wore this. I was so in love with it. The main reason I wanted it was this color down here. And I had that on the back of my cheeks. And then I had the more pink one at the front of my cheeks. This is made. I'm loving it already. It lasts. It is just, they are so pretty. They are pigmented, but not too pigmented to where you, that's the dark color I just showed you, to where they're, you know, clown face instantly. Like, look, this one, you know, I'm building up the pink next to it. Real, real pretty. And this is the coral. The coral is gorgeous by itself and mixed with that light pink. Look at that coral. And the highlighter. That's the highlighter I have on today. I don't know how well y'all can see it. Oh, look at it right there. I don't have anything underneath it or anything. God, my hair looks horrible. I am so sorry. 
I'm going to get it cut, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I do have to dye it first. The highlighter. Oh, I was not expecting much out of this highlighter. But as you can see, I mean, it just, it is gorgeous. It catches the light just right, but do not put, if you've got a lot of pores, do not put too much. Like, I have a lot of pores in my nose. Just put a little bit, don't put too much, because it will highlight your pores. But, I'm in love with this already. I will do a more full review in my, um, I hauled it hot or horrible, you know, because I got some stuff I need to put in that and do. But this, I'm already in love with it. Uh, I'm just, oh. Now this I just got yesterday, and this is what's on my eyes. You know me, you know I've got the other two, uh, the CoverGirl True Naked palettes. I got the Goldens and the Nudes. I need the roses. Um, but y'all know as soon as I saw the jewels, it, as it came out, I had to have it because you know me and my jewel tone colors. I'm a jewel tone girl. I love colors like this, so I finally found it. But I had to pay the CVS price of thirteen dollars. Usually you can get them at Walmart for like ten dollars. But that was the only place I could find it was this one specific one. These, let me get the brush out of there. They are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. I have on the gold and uh, across my lid and a little bit of the green on the outside. And I'm highlighting with uh, the white greenish color at the end. And then lined underneath, I have, of course, the blue underneath uh, lining my lower lash line. They are really pretty. I'll, let me swatch a few of them for you. That's the gold. The green is a letdown. I will say that now. It is really chunky, and it's not as bright as it. It's not really bright in the pan. That's the green, but it's really chunky. Now the blue. I love the blue, as you can tell, but, but it's not as bright as it. You have to build it up to get it as bright as it is in the pan. You can see it looks a little bit darker than it does in the pan. Now the purple is gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Spot to swatch in here. Really pretty. My lights aren't doing them justice, and I'll just do this one here. The, uh, I'm gonna call you for this. It's a pinkish color. Kind of a topaz pink color right there. It's really pretty. It looks real pretty over the pink and the purple. The black is a black. It's got a little bit of glitter on it, but it, it's not too bad to where it shows up. Like I said, just got this. Just started playing with it, playing with it a little last night. And I need to play with it tomorrow, tomorrow, some more to see what I think about it. I can already say I don't like it as much as the other two that I have, but I need to play with it more. You know, I, I've proven myself wrong before, like with the Unicorn Genite by Makeup Revolution. First I didn't like it, and then I discovered I was using the wrong brushes, and now I love it. So I need to just play with it more. Y'all know how I am about that. I don't like really doing first impressions. I like to play with it and then let you know what I think. So I'll let you know what I think with these two right here. I have been looking everywhere for these bad boys, and I'm so glad I got them because I've been saving my money, and I wanted them so bad because I wanted to review them for my channel because these blushes just spoke to me, especially the dark one. They are just, those blushes are gorgeous. That dark one is so pretty. They blend out nicely. I'm in love with the blush palette already. Now on my birch box, this is what it looks like this month. I got some cool stuff in this one. I was really surprised. Now, I did get some um, hydrating collagen eye pads. One was uh, Schumann. You know, just the ones you put under. And I've always wanted to try the Chlorine uh, dry shampoo. I got a sample of that. A deluxe sample. And I'm, was, I'm almost out of my e.l.f. brow set. And they sent me the Chella clear brow set. So I was really happy about that. And yet another black eyeliner. But this um, is the Ico felt tip one. Y'all know I love felt tips, and everybody raves about the Ico, so I can't wait to try this. And it's really black. I did swatch it. It's really, really black. But this is what I'm excited about. Um, this is the Shiseido Perfect Cleansing Oil. Look at that size sample. And Shiseido is expensive. So I cannot wait to start using this because I'm using the um, Tatcha Cleansing Oil, and I love that. And I just finished it last night. It's in my product Ipsy, product pan Ipsy. Love that stuff. So I can't wait to start using this. I just melt, the, the Tatcha one melted my makeup off, and I'm betting this one will too, so I can't wait to start using it. But I was really excited about where I got this month in there. But um, that is everything I've picked up lately. Like I said, most of it was on sale, and the other I was saving my pennies for. Um, but let me uh, show, talk to you uh, about what's on my face. I have my foundation, uh, my Simply Ageless my, from CoverGirl. My concealer is my e.l.f. concealer and highlight. Y'all know I love that. My bronzer is my Model Co.
contour stick and my e.l.f. bronzer, which I just did pan in. I'm so excited. Uh, contour with my Bahama Mama, which I got my Ipsy this, uh, my last Ipsy. And um, to set my uh, my eyebrow primer, eyebrow eyeshadow primer is my Black Radiance. Y'all know it. I love it. It's the Perfecto one. And I also have on, uh, with the jewels, I have on the uh, Goldens, the True Naked Goldens. And my black eyeliner is my e.l.f. Uh, felt tip black eyeliner. And I lined my lower lash line right before I put the blue down with the uh, eye teeny sizzle to stick and blue Hawaiian to give it a base. Mixed in with my foundation is my Monica Dar Illuminator. And my um, mascaras are my Too Space Bird and Sex and my Lancome on my bottom. And my eyebrows are my uh, Ulta Brow Tint and Medium. And my um, LA Colors brow pencil and the lighter one. And on my lips, like I said, was that e.l.f. in Classy, and then my Splendid CoverGirl lip liner worked perfectly with it. It was the perfect color. So that is everything that I've picked up lately. I said saving my pennies for a lot of it, for a few of them, because I, I knew I wanted them as soon as I saw them. But I'm real excited to start really playing with the jewel one and the blush palette. But like I said, that blush, it lasts all day. I love it. it it's great. But I did tell you I was thinking about cutting my hair. I'm, it's tangling so much. I had to get my husband last night to help me comb through my hair because my hair is getting so tangled underneath here. No matter how many times I brush it during the day, you know, I go to bed at night, I wake up, it's in a knot. Because it's so long, so thick, and heavy. It just knots. And it's dry, so it just knots together. So it took a lot of hair oil and <laughs> brushing through it and it finally come out. But I'm going to dye it, you know, my usual black. But I'm thinking about cutting it back. I had it up to here a few years ago, and I really, really liked it. And, you know, a little bit shorter in the back. So I'm thinking about doing that. What do y'all think? I mean, because y'all know I wear it up all the time because I hate fixing it. It looks good down. It's just, it's too hot to wear down where I live, and it's just a pain in the butt to fix because it's so long. It doesn't hold a curl because it's so heavy. My hair is a pain in the ass. It really is. <laughs> it's this thick, dry, heavy, doesn't hold a curl. It's a pain in the butt, unless I put like super glue in my hair, because that's the only way it's gonna hold a curl, curl. So, but I'm next time you see me, it may be cut. You never know. But that's all I want to talk to y'all about tonight, today, whatever. It's nighttime right now, while I'm filming. But um, thank y'all for all your support um, and all your comments on my latest videos. I really appreciate it. Sorry I'm popping my knuckles. It's a bad habit of mine. But. Um, I really want to thank y'all for all, all your support lately. It does mean a lot. Um, if you like what you see and want to hang around for a while, hit that subscribe button. If you want, hit the uh, like button, and I'll talk.